we are very keen to understand what is behind the glyphosate. I think is happening is that it is getting into proteins by mistake in place of the coding amino acid glycine. I think that hits at the heart of why glyphosate is such an unusual chemical causing so many diseases, the, the rise in so many diseases we see over time in countries as they adopt it. We are in a mess right now with the number of people who have obesity and diabetes and heart disease and high blood pressure and Alzheimer's and autism. I mean, the list just goes on and on, all kinds of, hot, of uh, gut problems. We are exposed to many, many toxic chemicals. I'm not saying I can put all of those uh, on the shoulders of glyphosate, but I think glyphosate is the, is the key, most consequential chemical that we are exposed to. Its mechanism is subtle. It takes time to show up. And this is part of why the industry has been able to conceal its toxicity all these years. There have been peer reviewed studies that have shown that glyphosate causes a leaky gut. Uh, glyphosate also disrupts the ability to metabolize proteins, and this is especially important for um, proteins that contain proline, the amino acid proline. It turns out proline is an interesting amino acid that's difficult to break apart from its neighbors. And so actually our gut microbes, in particular lactobacillus, they provide several enzymes that assist the host in breaking apart proteins that contain proline. And in particular, uh, there's two proteins in particular that have a lot of proline. And that is the uh, gluten in wheat and then casein in milk. And many, many people are suffering from casein intolerance, gluten intolerance. They're, they're going on a gluten-free, casein-free diet. Many people, especially, for example, the autistic kids, um, because they can't handle those proteins. And the reason why they can't handle them, I suspect, is because the lactobacillus are being clobbered by the glyphosate. And we're not the enzymes that would break down those proteins are not available. So now we have two different pathways causing the same thing. Yes, right. Yes. Glyphosate working synergistically with the virus.